Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming in for a video today. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to revisit some jewelry today. I have to periodically look through my things. I have several places where I keep jewelry. So today we're gonna to look at a jewelry hoard. Not a coffee video. I was just doing my hot cup of black coffee here. And we're gonna do a little revisit of my hoard. These are pieces that were on a rack that I took out. I have like an expandable coat rack that I had these hanging on and I hadn't looked at them in probably two years and there are some things in here including amber that I had not even realized were there. That's what we're going to do today so if you enjoy looking at jewelry please be sure and uh, stay tuned for some wonderful necklaces. All right let's start with this tray. Now I love these simple chains love these necklaces i think they are so simple and pretty very reminiscent of the 70s and 80s and especially with these um interesting chains they're kind of like a um, herringbone this is a very nicely made necklace and it has a barrel clasp so definitely very popular in the 70s take a look at that beautiful chain and just a nice heavy bead ball there. I love it. I think it's so pretty. This one, which is a very dear, my mother's name and my granddaughter's name, begin with an M. So I have a lot of initial jewelry that with sentimental value with the letter M engraved on it. This is a beautiful crystal too. I hope you can see it fairly well on there. Isn't that beautiful? It's a cut crystal. It's, I don't think it's on sterling, but it is on a jump ring chain, so I'll have to double check that. I don't believe it is sterling, though. But it's on a very delicate chain, and it's just a beautiful vintage piece just hanging back there on that wall. Love that one. Then this one, quite interesting. I believe it may be missing a rhinestone. Let me check. Yeah, there are some rhinestones missing on this one. This is worthy to be fixed. I think it's very different. It is a bolo style. Not a lariat style, but definitely a bolo style. And uh, I don't know, even with the pewter-like color, I think it's still beautiful. The chain looks a little bit, actually because of the grayish color, looks a little bit like white gold, but it's not. It's just a very nice... Again, these herringbone serpentine type chains that were so prevalent in the 1970s. Love that. And I love this one. This one has the Virgen de Guadalupe, the Virgin of Guadalupe. And I love this. I think it's so beautiful. It reminds me of a ring I had. I had a beautiful ring with the image of Christ on it made very similar with I don't even know what they call this. This is costume, of course, but the one that I had was an 18 karat. And I've told the story before that the inexperienced jeweler, which he was an elderly man, not elderly, but he was a mature man. So I'm sure he'd been doing it for a very long time, but he didn't remove the embellishment from the ring before he sized it. And then when I picked it up and just put it on, it just completely wiped the face, the image off completely. So that's kind of what this work reminds me of and I love it and oh it's on two sides I think it's so pretty it's well done and it's just on a silver tone chain don't even know where I got this I actually had it back there and then I had it draped on one of my uh, daughter's pictures I had it draped there but it was right there with the other and I thought I'd bring it then this one I love this I wish it was really a perfume flask or a little perfume bottle here with a if it had a little dauber it'd be so nice it wouldn't it but it's beautiful i love it it's kind of a victorian look but it is definitely a i think probably from the 90s judging from the lobster claw and it's not glass it's it's actually not even a bottle and it's acrylic but it's so beautiful and look at the little rose topper there i think it's just gorgeous if you're enjoying the video so far, I hope you gave it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. All right, this is really cool. I love anything with book motifs, reading motifs. You can see my ring lights in there, so try to ignore those. But that is so cute. 
on brass. No maker on that. Oh, my vacuum cleaner has come to visit. I hope you can't hear him, but he's out there vacuuming. Then this one, I think I actually got about three of these. I really should list this. There might be a fan of Pulp Fiction or <laughs> some kind of comic book fan out there that would appreciate it. This is on a long chain, too. Very interesting about that. Then we have some imitation turquoise. Here is another one that I, I do not even recognize. I don't remember seeing it any time prior. Very pretty. I adore it. It is kind of a Victorian inspired with scallops here and then of pearls and I think they are crystals. The pearls are faux, of course. This reminds me of Wedgwood and I went ahead and got my ring to show you. That's kind of what it reminds me of. These are little tiny, I believe they're roses. Let's take a closer look at those. Am I even looking at them correctly? Yes, they're roses. Look how pretty that is. It's well made too. And again, a nice and heavy piece, unsigned. Don't even know where I got it, but I thought we'd revisit my hoard of jewelry. Here is the amber. I love this little amber drop. It's 925, fabulous. I didn't even, I didn't even remember that this was back there, honestly. And then I saw it along with the others as I, like I said, I had an expandable rack back there. Those coat racks, that accordion racks that expand, and I did, wanted to hang a mirror there. So I took down the rack and I put the, we had to move the jewelry, and that's when I found these necklaces, and this is a sterling necklace. I love it. It's actually beautiful, isn't it? It is um, different colors of amber, a bead, and two little natural drops there. I adore this. I also love the chain. The chain is gorgeous. Let me see if you can see it better on this side. The chain is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Very, very nice Rolo. And wow. Let's do, let's do a thumbnail here, why don't we? Whoa, I love it. Hmm, may have to put that on to remember to bring it to my auction. Oh, if you're interested in any jewelry that I show at any time during a haul or unboxing or anything, please email me. It's in the description box. I don't sell directly here, uh, but I've always been open to emails if you're interested in anything and if it's available for sale, of course we can entertain a uh, transaction through PayPal. Okay, and of course, if you're interested in the Facebook auctions, they're every Saturday, God willing, every Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. Private free group over there. So you need only click the link and then request to um, be a member and agree to the policies. And voila, you are in like Flynn, as they say. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's Sarah Coventry. What a beautiful chain. Again, one of those... Um, I don't know what they call this double herringbone look, but so pretty, isn't it? And then we have this one. I did pair this the other day when I found them. I wore them together and I love them. Sort of the add a bead that was all the craze in the 70s. I was, I've mentioned before you could buy these. Of course, this is costume, but they did have them in 14 karat and they called them add a beads and you could buy them one at a time. You buy your chain. And then, you know, every paycheck or whatever, you could go in and buy another bead. So I did pair it with this one and wore it the other day when I found all these beautiful necklaces. And I love the look. I thought it looked fantastic. And all of these trends come and go, as you know. Do you know the color block dress of the 60s? Well, I didn't even know it was of the 60s because I had it in the 80s. <laughs> so everything comes back. Oh my God, the one that looks like a... TV test pattern or something. This is just a little chain. It is brass, but these come in so handy for the vintage 
looking pendants that we often get, especially in this size. This is a good, I don't know, I guess it's about 24 inches. So it's really, really nice to get one. And brass just looks beautiful with those vintage pendants. John Paul, I think I remember pulling this out of a jar. Uh, one of the Pokes, I think it's John Paul. It could be the new one. What's his name? I don't remember. I think it is the new one. Yes, it's not John Paul. This might be John Paul on this side. Oh, so that's interesting. That's very interesting. I love the chain on. Can always use that. And uh, you'd be surprised how well things like this sell on eBay. So I need to throw that up on eBay for sure. Then I believe this is the imitation hematite, type, but I'm not sure. I'll have to compare it to my other ones. And it has a fish on there. I kind of like the fish. How does this open? Oh, that's cool. They did a good job on this. They really blended the barrel clasp quite well. Blends right into that bead. Interesting. Nice box clasp on this with a charm of crystals here on the little inspirational quote, I'm sure. It says, even the smallest star shines in the dark skies. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. That's a nice saying there. Very true. Some of us can feel quite small sometimes and in inadequate in many ways for whatever reason. And we, uh, we need to remember now we all were created for a greater purpose. This is a little really cute heart. It says, listen, a Bible verse. In the back, it has some other symbols that say by Casey Bins, made in the USA. That's beautiful. That is really pretty. M310. That's a pretty one. Nice and heavy too. What is this? Is this a fairy? I still can't tell what it is. I think it's an angel or a fairy. Let me take a look at it. Oh, it's like a crazy little lady with crazy hair. Maybe it's a crazy angel. Now this one I'll probably throw in a crafter lot. It's a little worn in the back. And maybe I'll use my pen to it. We shall see. And then this one with the knot. This is really pretty. It's got an interlocking rings there. It has all of the rhinestones on it. Kind of an interlocking rings there. Very cool. I like that. Nice and weighty too. I don't see a maker on it. Chain still looks nice. So let me see if I see anything. There's some stones on the... There's some stones here as well. This almost looks like a Ripka or something. Doesn't she embellish the... Uh, I think it's just costume. It is just silver tone. And I don't see any kind of a name. I like the way it's actually got a adjustment there if you want to wear it shorter. Okay, it does. It says N and it's got a little, these might be diamonds. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There's a diamond in the back. There's a an N. Who's N? Let's check it. It might be silver plated. I mean, rhodium plated over sterling, but it does not say sterling. I don't see that it says sterling anywhere. The only mark I see is N. It look, it, I don't see any kind of other mark. So please let me know if you know anything about this particular brand. And then it does have um, like a little rhinestone or whatever on the back there. Well, I will be testing this because it's quite interesting. Here's the the little lobster claw embellished as well. So we'll put this on it and test that. 
I will test this for sterling and uh, I will test it for precious metals. You never know. I just, I'm interested in the fact, in the way it's marked so nicely and, uh, and it's weighty and everything. And again, it was just lost in the abyss of the hoard. Just insane. Here's another one. I know this one is just silver tone, little rose, quite pretty. I keep saying that and then I'm surprised that they're Mark 925. <laughs> Again, guys, I've been doing these jars for a while now. Over five years. Exclusively, I think, pretty much. I do other videos, of course, so if you enjoy content such as thrifting, looking for jewelry everywhere, like estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, pawn shops, etc., be sure and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell as well for notifications all right this is kind of a rosary style i think they may have made this with uh no this was not made from a rosary because the rosary usually has the longer stations first so no it was made in the style of a rosary though and it's beautiful a lovely chain on it and i believe this is silver tone as well let me see what it says it does not say anything but it's a beautiful necklace nonetheless. And I did forget to show you my rings of the day and someone had asked me to wear my Carl Ove Fredensburg ring. So I'm gonna show you that. That's this one here. This is another one of his beautiful rings. And this is the one that I believe is sort of an exotic turquoise if I'm not mistaken, but you guys can correct me if you know better. It's made in the same style as the amber one that I was wearing the other day. So one of my subscribers asked me to wear it, and it is open in the back. It's very interesting how it has no matrix in the back, right? So you guys let me know what you know, but I love it. I think it's amazingly beautiful. I'm wearing my wrap rings, of course. I always wear those. And then I found this one costume today, the wonderful find from the last jar. I thought it was really pretty, silver tone, fits perfect. So there you go. If you enjoyed it let me know what you think about it wasn't it an incredible find with the amber i had no idea that amber was there i had no idea it was sterling when i saw it the other day i didn't even know that till right now so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you learned anything if you got anything out of it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will talk to you on the next video bye um let me take a sip of the coffee before it gets cold i was also talking about did you guys ever collect Fiesta wear? Oh my goodness. I collected it before, I think this is one of the vintage pieces, before it became reissued in the 80s, I believe, late 80s, early 90s, when they started reissuing it, I stopped collecting. It was not fun anymore to find it. But I still enjoy it. I think I have a few of the vintage pieces still. I've sold quite a bit of it and... Um, I really do like the all white as well instead of just like I used to really want the multicolored. Anyway, that has nothing to do with jewelry. Why am I talking about it?